Hi, everybody. My name is Sparkle, and I work with Amplify GA Collaborative, a collaborative of non-reproductive justice orgs throughout the state of Georgia. Um, and today we're here to talk to you about our Fake Clinic Suck campaign. So who do we have here with us? My name is Jonathan, and I'm a sophomore here at Georgia State University. Uh, my name is Kayla, and I'm also a sophomore at GSU. I want to say companies. Mm -hmm. I don't want to necessarily say just people in the government mm -hmm. because these aren't just opinions held by the government. These are opinions held by people. So I don't doubt that there are some of these very big companies that are very secretly, there's some money here, some money there, keep this open. But they don't know because these companies are so big. Probably either the government, because it's five to one due to how many people they get, maybe like the participants kind of fund it as well. That's what I'm thinking. So actually both of you guys are kind of wrong. Gotcha. Gotcha. Anti-abortion clinics are actually funded by taxpayer dollars. So when you pay... Really? <laughs> yeah, so when you pay your taxes, yeah. they're using your tax dollars and they're building these clinics and deceiving all these pregnant people. That's crazy. That is wild. I think it's really scummy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's one thing to, I guess, not agree with people having the right to choose to get an abortion. Mm -hmm. But to prop yourself up as a clinic to spread said information, which a clinic is something that people need Facts. in every community, using that to spread that, I think is like not okay. Mm -hmm. at, like at all. Mm -hmm. Especially with taxpayer dollars. Mm -hmm. No. I think it's crazy. I think it's dumb too. And I think it's like, why? Like, I understand like people try so hard to push a certain agenda of like, abortion's bad, abortion's wrong. But at the same time, it's like, what are you gonna do when the baby comes out? Are you gonna take care of it? No. So like, mind your own business. And also what he said, the whole like, faking a clinic is crazy. Like, y'all don't even have professionals here doing stuff. I don't like it. And I think the future of it should be shut down. Shut that ish down. No one needs it. If anything, we need more real clinics and more clinics that can actually help young women and not like deter them from things or give them fake information.